Hi, I'm going to be doing a review of the top 5 paid games and top 5 free games on the Mac App Store. First one will be Asphalt 6. This game is um, pretty simple, not much to it. Um, to just go, you press up to steer, to go, sorry, um, down arrow to brake, left and right arrow to steer, whatever way you're going, or wh wherever you're turning. Um, you can press the down and left arrow or right arrow, whichever way you're drifting, to drift. And when you start drifting, press the up arrow to keep on going and to keep your drift going. And, uh, you can get boost things to get your little boost bar at the top higher so you can do longer boost. If you fill up the boost bar all the way, then you'll, um, you get this adrenaline, adrenaline mode. And... There's cars like the Audi R8, 450 Italia, and Bugatti. Up next is Ultraviolet Dawn. This is number two. Um, it's paid. You can download the live version, which is free. And so in this game, you it's pretty much the same controls as Asphalt 6, left and right. So you can turn left and right, and then up and down to go faster and s slow down. Um, there's a lot of maps in this game. Well, it's not exactly map, just planets, like, planet systems, I guess. And, uh, so I'll basically just go to the systems and destroy these ships and whatnot. Um, like in every other game, the red ships on your map are bad and blue ones are good. And then I'm going to show you some star systems. So this is like a view of how many star systems there are. There's a lot more than this, than what you can see. And then you have weapons next, which is right here. You have a lot to choose from. I think you can unlock more. So up next is Galcon Fusion. It's a paid app. It's pretty fun. It's like a strategy game, I guess. Um, basically, just capture all the other enemy planets. And then once you destroy them all, you win. The controls are simple, it's just basically all clicking, you don't really use a keyboard at all. If at all, I think, you don't need to use it at all. And, uh, at the bottom you can change how much you're, at the bottom right anyways, you can change how many ships you want to leave each planet when you click it and go to an enemy or not captured. You can even, uh, make ships go from your planet to another one of your planets so you can increase the population of the ships on that planet. I'd recommend downloading this game. It was only like $2 when I bought it. It might go up because I think it said like 80% off or something like that. So, yeah, go ahead and get it. You can even do multiplayer and whatnot. So, yeah, that's Galcon Fusion. And up next is Chopper 2, which is a paid game. It um, basically just pick up your guys or and you kill the other enemies which appear red your guys will appear blue I believe yeah they'll appear blue and the enemies they get a lot stronger than this what you're seeing they're just dudes right now they get into like tanks and stuff but I don't I, I didn't play it that much um, it's a pretty fun game and once again the controls are pretty simple up is to go up down is to go down right is to go right left is to go right or left my bad and um the lower you are to the ground the faster you go so fly low i guess up next is angry birds you guys have probably all played it um it's a pretty fun game on the computer it's just like the ipad and iphone just click on here, click to launch your bird or to pull your bird back. You just let go of the mouse to launch your bird, and same objective and everything. I think it's pretty much the same. I think all the levels are pretty much the same, so there's nothing really different. It's just designed for the computer, so there's really not much to it besides launching birds at pigs, which is surprisingly fun. I don't know why. So yeah, that's my review for Angry Birds. So just enjoy this game. Play.
Up next is Shotgun Fun Fun, which is a free game. It's my favorite free game, even though it's pretty simple. There's not much to it at all. You just run around killing these little mutant things or whatever they are. I don't know what they are. To me, they look like pinkies or something. But so yeah, you just kill those. And then the controls are simple. Up is to jump. Left is to go left. Right is to go right. And I don't think down has a purpose. I think it's just there. Oh, and um, the mouse is used to aim and shoot. So just enjoy the gameplay of this game. And we'll be right back. Up next is A Monster Ate My Homework, which is number two from Free Games. I think it's free right now. I think it always will be free, but I could be wrong. I got it when it was free. So, this game's pretty simple. There's not much to it, once again. Just aim with the mouse and shoot. That's all you do. I don't think there's any keyboard commands or anything like that. At the top right, you can restart and... There's a bunch of levels that you can play. Um, you play these levels, you unlock more. So that's pretty much what there is to it. Not much more. So enjoy the gameplay. Next game is Alpine Crawler. Another free game. It's number three. Controls are simple once again. Probably the simplest. Up is to go, down is to slow down. You have just rough terrain and stuff. First level being the easiest, and there's not many levels. I mean, keep you occupied for a while, so go ahead and download it. So that's it for this game, so just enjoy this gameplay. Up next is Victory March. Another free game. I don't know if it's always free. I got it on this app called Store News. And it said it was free for the day. I don't know if it's free right now. You can go ahead and tr look for it and see if it's free. Um, so the controls are right. Or I don't think they're the right. But up is a jump. And it always goes right for you. You can't stop it. You just keep on going. And then you have these guys shooting at you. I don't think you can go backwards either, and you can't duck, I don't think. I think you can have special abilities and stuff, but I haven't played this game very much. So, that's my review for this game. Up next is Pappy Jump. Poppy Jump, I don't know how to explain it, or say it. But it's number five for on free games. It's oddly addicting um you just keep on going up on these little things it has like two game modes i believe one is where it just keeps on like breaking every time you hit one of the bricks it falls and the controls are just left and right and that's all the controls are so that's my last review please comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye